Hi friends, it's Miss Colleen. I'm here at Discovery Hill Outdoor Learning Center. Discovery Hill is a habitat garden. It's part of Austin ISD, and every year lots of students and teachers come here to learn, do science in that garden with us, and other activities for fun. Now, you heard me say habitat garden. What does that mean when I say habitat? What is a habitat? Do you know? Have you heard that word before? I'll tell you. A habitat is a place where something lives. Now, a habitat has to provide four things in order for an animal to live there. Let's think of what those four things could be. Do you have an idea? I'll tell you. The first is food. All animals need food to live, right? What's something else? Water. Water is something all animals need to live. The third thing that all animals need to live is a cover, some place to go to be safe, either from the weather or from a predator. And we have a word for that in science called shelter. The word for that is shelter. Can you say shelter with me? Shelter. A shelter is a place where all animals need to go to be safe. The last thing that a, that a habitat has to provide for an animal to live there is a safe place to raise their babies. All animals need a safe place to raise their young. And that these things are different for every animal. So let's think about what this could mean for different animals. Like an earthworm. Where would an earthworm go for shelter, to be covered? You know? Did you say in the dirt? That's right. An earthworm goes underground in the dirt for shelter, in the soil. They dig underground. Let's think of another one. What if I'm a butterfly? Where do I get my food? Hmm. Nectar? Butterflies need nectar. And where does it come from? Flowers. Butterflies get their nectar from flowers. That's right. Now let's think of another example. If I am a bird, where do I raise my babies? Did you say nest? You're right. Birds raise their babies in a nest. They, a nest is an important part of a bird's habitat, not just for shelter, but a place to raise their young. Now, those are the four parts of a habitat. Let's go over them again. Food, water, shelter, and a place to raise their young. Thanks for joining me today at Discovery Hill. I hope to see you again soon. What will you find when you play outside? Bye.